Welcome back Grade 7. In this video, we will discuss the absolute value of a number. Our objectives for this lesson, describe and illustrate the absolute value of a number on the number line as the distance of the number from 0. Let us define first the absolute value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on a number line. In this or in other words, absolute value is always positive. So when we say absolute value, we are talking about the distance. That's why the absolute value is always positive. It is denoted by two bars and x is the representation of any number. So when we did this, this is the absolute value of x. Okay, so we have the absolute value of x is equal to x. So we can read this as the absolute value of x is x. Okay, so ang naka-absolute value is x. That's why the answer is positive x. How about this one? The absolute value of negative x is equal to x. Again, we can read this as the absolute value of negative x is x. So since distance ang pinag-uusapan, we have negative. So the absolute value is positive. And we have the negative absolute value of x is equal to negative x. We can read this as the negative absolute value of x is negative x. So, bakit negative ang sagot? Based sa definition, the absolute value is always negative, positive. Pero in this case, the answer is negative x. Okay, so ang naka-absolute value is x. So, therefore, the absolute value of x is positive x. Pero meron tayong negative sa labas ng absolute value, that's why the answer is negative x. In here, let us use the number line to get the distance of a given number. Okay? So again, the number line, it is consists of negative integers, positive integers, and zero. Lahat ng papunta sa kaliwa, kapag in natin siya, that is negative. Lahat ng papunta sa kanan is positive. So, the first one, we have the absolute value of positive 3. So, from 0, mula sa 0, magmumove lang tayo ng tatlo up to positive 3. Or, pwede natin gamitin, mag-start tayo sa 3, papunta kay 0. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, nag-move tayo ng 3 units para makapunta kay 0. Tama? So, since distance ang pinag-uusapan, sabi natin, that is always positive. Okay? So, therefore, the absolute value of positive 3 is 3. How about this one? The absolute value of negative 3. Okay? So, tingnan ulit. So, we may start into negative 3. So, move tayo. 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, we have 3 units. So, the answer is positive 3. So, sa first 2 given, ginamit natin si number line. So, pwede natin kunin ang absolute value without using a number line. For example, we have the negative absolute value of 55. Okay? So, alam natin when we get the absolute value of 55, that is positive 55. Pero, meron tayong negative sign sa labas. So, therefore, this is negative 55. Tandaan, magkaiba ang absolute value of negative 55 sa absolute value or sa negative absolute value of 55. Okay, so ang naka-absolute value nandito ay positive 55. Next, how about this one? We have negative absolute value of negative 111. Oh, so, in this given, negative 111, siya yung naka-absolute value. So, magiging positive. So, ang answer natin is 
negative 111. Let us have this example. We have the absolute value of 5 plus 1. Okay, so in this case, we will add 5 and 1, that is 6, and of course, we have the absolute value sign. So the absolute value of 6 is equal to positive 6. Next, we have the absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of negative 5. So in this case, the absolute value of positive 3 is positive 3. And the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. So 3 plus 5 is equal to positive 8. How about this one? How can we get the value of x? So the absolute value of x is equal to positive 5. Okay? So what is or are the possible values of x such that the absolute value of x is equal to 5? So, x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 5. Because when we substitute the value of x, which is 5, so the absolute value of 5 is equal to positive 5. And then negative 5, the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to positive 5. Substitute lang natin ang value ng x which is positive 5, at value ng another x, which is negative 5. Next, we have the absolute value of x is equal to positive 7. So, same as in our first example. We have x is equal to 7 and x is equal to negative 7. So, dapat kapag sinubstitute natin yung given, equal silang dalawa. Okay, so 7 or the absolute value of 7 is equal to 7. The absolute value of negative 7 is equal to positive 7. Okay, next, we have the absolute value of x less than or equal to positive 2. Napag-aralan na natin noong nakaraan yung inequality. So this time, gagamitin natin siya in absolute value. Okay? So, when we get the values or possible values of this given, so we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. Those are the possible integers that we can replace to the value of x. So, negative 2 or the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Kasi sabi, less than or equal. So, equal silang dalawa. Negative 1 or the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. 1 is less than 2. True pa rin. Next, the absolute value of 0. That is 0. 0 is less than 2. That is correct. And the absolute value of 1, that is 1, less than or equal to 2, that is correct also. And then, 2 or the absolute value of 2 is equal or is less than or equal to 2 is also correct. So therefore, the possible integers are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2.